Well, I think it was about nine years ago, I accidentally got into athletics when I attended the club with my youngest son and uh, realised I'd missed it from school and just happened to be talking to another parent and they said, oh, you know, why don't you join the club? And I said, well, you know, can older ones join? And they said, yes, but it's road runners. And I said, road running? I said, no, I'm actually a sprinter. But they said, look, go along and have a go. So yes, went along, had a go. Yes, road running wasn't right for me. Um, as a sprinter, you know, we only kind of run up to about 200 metres. Um, but anyway, um, I got involved and then they introduced me to Masters Athletics, which basically means athletics for anybody over the age of 35, which I just touched it at that point. Um, so I started competing for the club um, on a local level, then on a regional level and then on a national level for, uh, for British Masters, which actually took place this weekend. Um, and then on two occasions, I took play, took part in World Masters as athletics as well so over kind of four and a half year period I went up to international level um, then took a break from athletics through work commitments for about three four years and um, I was contacted by the Northampton club and coach coordinator um, Dave Goddard who said uh, we need somebody to come back and do some jumps coaching is there any chance you could do it the club will support your development um, it could really do with your support so this was now three years ago actually this summer so I came back to the club and started doing jumps coaching which was um uh, long jump, triple jump and a high jump and I got support locally and I also got support through England Athletics that supplied me what's called with a flying coach which is a very experienced national coach that came to Northampton and supported me in my development. Um, so did that for a year but my passion is sprinting and I could see that the sprint groups needed some support so again I asked Dave whether I could kind of transfer over and help the sprinting um, side of things so I did that nearly two years ago and um, has stuck with that and my development's improved and the athletes have improved I've also worked with Caleb here as well so it's now it's totally focused on um, getting these sprinters up to high performance level. Wow so a lot has changed since when you first were doing sprinting and so on. Yes very much very much Amazing. so yes. So how does the athletics league work how do athletes like Caleb from Northampton get recognised? Well, there are various different leagues for the different age groups from the youngest when they're kind of under 11s right up to seniors and up to the level that you see, you know, on the TV. But say between the ages of about uh, 12 to 19, there are various leagues around the country. So you have a national one called the Youth Development League, which is from under 13s up to under 20s. And they compete on a regional basis. There's four fixtures between uh, I think it was May and end of July and then the top two from each small division go through to a final um, in September and for about I think it's a fifth year running now Rugby Northampton have been very successful in reaching the finals and so that means we're one of the top eight in the country clubs to be competing on September the 7th. That's fantastic and we're news. Comp sorry, competing on the weekend for both the lower age group, which is the under 13s and the 15s on the Saturday, and then the upper age group under 17s and under 20s on the Sunday. That's a good result for Northampton, you know, for the rest of the country and so on, isn't it? It, it is, it is. And that's just, say, just one of the leagues that we compete in. Um, and also in the last couple of years, we've been very good, um, successful in putting forward a few athletes, again, like the likes of Caleb, into England Athletics Champs, which is kind of taking it to that next level to be recognised. Um, it works very much alongside in the English Schools Championships as well, which we've, again, been very successful in getting athletes to that top level. So it's about getting them recognised, because I think one of my kind of ambitions when I saw, I went to, I think it was um, the British Athletics Trials about two years ago, just prior to the Olympics, and it was over a weekend. And I was very conscious that across the whole weekend in these British trials, there was only two athletes from Rugby Northampton. You had everybody else from the likes of Birchville Harriers, Sale Harriers, etc. And I kind of thought with the size of club that we have, we need to have more athletes at that level. Although we've got a great you know, legacy of athletes at younger levels, when it comes to kind of over 18s and upwards, we do struggle, we have struggled prior to hold on to them, but we have got um, structures in place now where we can really support the athletes and we really want to take them through to those senior levels so that, that you know, in a few years time, you'll be hearing athletes from Rugby Northampton competing for GB. 
that's what we want we want to hear that now speaking of of young athletes here uh with the studio you've, uh, caleb downs is here caleb um how old are you and uh tell us the the sports that you compete in uh i'm 16 and at the minute i'm just focusing on ones and twos uh uh at the minute so hopefully maybe one day i want to move up to 400 meters so you, you're a sprinter yeah just Mm-hmm. So how was uh, how did you get involved in in the, in the sport? Um, well, in primary school, I was quite passionate about the um, the sprinting and stuff. I never wanted to do cross country or anything. You know, I was quite lazy. Um, and then we heard about uh, the athletics club through my granddad, who knows uh, one of the coaches there, and she managed to give us a number get into contact with the development uh coach uh which helped me get into the club how long have you been competing and what is it like um i've been competing for about five years now um and it's been quite amazing to me as the journey itself from uh you know the local competitions like county and then going up to you know the england champs and stuff like that it's been incredible now you mentioned one hundred and two hundred. Uh, can can I ask you what your personal best are for those? Uh, ten five seven for the hundred and twenty one thirty five for the two. That's an amazing speed, isn't it? Um, a, Adam Jamili recently ran the ten point something as well, didn't he? For the for the Commonwealth just now, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, a lot of people tend to think uh, it's not that much of a um, a gap between me and. I don't know, say someone who's running 10 flat or maybe even 9.9. Nine. But they struggle to realise in a way it is incredibly hard to get to that sort of level, the amount of work. And also, someone who's running 10.5 compared to 10 flat, it could be about 5 metres. 5 metres. Gap Amazing. between them, so... So, uh, is the competition which is out there, because Beverly mentioned about the different the, the different leagues that take place, is the competition out there tough when you're on your way up? It definitely is, yeah. Um, for me, I used to, well, I wasn't that, that good at a young age. Uh, it was just a hobby. Uh, and as I got older, got older uh, and got stronger, uh, I started to... Uh, uh, get a little bit better and the competition's been incredible from local competition people in the club um, that I compete against and it's it's friendly competition in a way which you need and then you have some people that you just want to beat like you need to beat <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright and to think that um, the, the way you're going the direction you're going the way it's going Beverly is that uh, he could be uh, com- competing you know for England and maybe in a few years time um, if everything goes correct um, how does that make you feel? Uh, I did compete for England last year So you already competed yeah. for England oh my gosh <laughs> um, So yeah um, it's well next year is really an aim to hopefully compete for mm-hmm. GB but competition this year and next year will be incredible there's some very fast runners out mm-hmm. at the minute is, is it difficult to have a, a balance between school work and the training? Um, for me, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm only three days a week at college, so I can, you know, relax on my Thursday, Friday, um, and just focus. But it's quite hard trying to get in from school or college, sorry, and eat and then back out for training, mm-hmm. and just trying to get, um, you know, just stronger. Get that balance. Yeah. 